Cause I'm reading books tonight So let me tell you about all my favorite parts Hi, welcome back to the Book Review Podcast. My name is Chang, and this week's much-anticipated topic is your favorite thriller of all time. Woo-hoo-hoo. Before we get into the ones with the highest votes from the listeners in next week's podcast, I'll start first by telling you about my favorite, which is The Girl Who Played With Fire by Stig Larsen. To start off, this is the second part of the award-winning Millennium series which surrounds Lizbeth Salander, an asocial genius hacker, and Mikhail Plomvist, a relentless publisher and investigative journalist. A little bit of plot summary to clarify for you. If the first book focused on the investigation of Plomvist into the Venture family and the billionaire Wennerstrom with the help from Lizbeth, this second book shifted the whole focus onto Lizbeth, where she became the prime suspect of the murder of two crime reporters and Plumbus, believing in her innocence, also start his own investigation, which later uncovered huge secrets within the Swedish government. Some of you might ask, do I have to read the first book before starting The Girl Who Played With Fire? I myself read the second part first, which totally got me hooked and desperately scrambled for the first and third books. While the third book closely connected with and continued the plot in the second volume, the first part was more like a separate case, but involved nonetheless quite a big part of the character building and the whole shared history between Lisbeth and Mikhail. So if I knew better, I would start with the first book first, which is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. But if you have no other choices, just knowing the plot would be okay to start with The Girl Who Played with Fire. Personally, I totally love Stig Larsson's style of writing, succinct and straightforward with his words, but still packed with suspense, plot twists, and unforgiving messages. Especially if he finds an issue important or pressing, he will shout about it with a megaphone, which throughout the whole series, and especially in this book, is about confronting misogyny and hatred mistreatment towards women. Old standards and gender norms that are still present in not just a small community, but we're talking about the whole society of Sweden. Moreover, in the heart of the story, we have Lisbeth, probably one of the most complex characters I've ever known, of course with pleasure. A social, always bold, fierce, and definitely dangerous, quite an example of the perfect formula to a super intriguing and captivating character. As said above, this second book focused totally on Lisbeth and thus uncovers more details on her gruesome childhood. Yet, she is always smart, strong, relentless, and unstoppable. To me, she is highly inspiring, which is probably one of the reasons why this book affected me so much. To give you guys an idea of how the writing would be like, here are some of the famous quotes from the book. Don't ever fight with Lisbeth Salander. Her attitude towards the rest of the world is that if someone threatens her with a gun, she get a bigger gun. She had discovered that the most effective method of keeping the fear at bay was to fantasize about something that gave her a feeling of strength. She closed her eyes and conjured up the smell of gasoline. Always retain the ability to walk away without sentimentality, from a situation that felt unmanageable. That was the basic rule of survival. Don't lift a finger for a lost cost. Okay, so I would definitely recommend this book to people that love thrillers, an investigation read, or a crime novel. Most of the series, and especially this volume, are quite intense and graphic. I mean, the truth is not always pleasant, right? So please keep it in mind before you consider reading it. To conclude, The Girl Who Played With Fire is for sure my favorite in the Millennium series and the number one thriller in my heart. If you have also read it, what do you think? Please let me know in the comments. If you haven't, I suggest you try it out right away. Have a nice weekend. My name is Chang, and I'll see you in the next podcast.